From my home to yours, all the very best. As we're beginning this new year, I'd like to remind us of one great idea, and that is every day deserves a chance. I'm wondering if you could benefit from some ideas on how to make the most of each and every set of 24 hours. If so, hang around for just a few minutes. If not, if you can't or it doesn't interest you, just post your prayer needs on the prayer page. We would consider it a a high and holy privilege to pray for you. Now, if you do have the time, I think eight minutes is what I'm going to need. We're going to put them to good use. You know, good lives are built one good day at a time. An hour, that's too short. A year, that's too long. Days, days are the bite-sized portions of life, the God-designed segment of life management. 84,000 heartbeats, 1,440 minutes, a complete rotation of the earth, a circle of the sundial, two dozen flips, of the hourglass, both a sunrise and a sunset, a brand spanking new, unsoiled, untouched, uncharted, and unused day, a gift of 24 unlived, unexplored hours. And if you can stack one good day on another and another, you link together a good life. But here's what you need to keep in mind. Here's the key. You no longer have yesterday. You don't. (laughs) It slipped away as you slept. It's gone. Bye-bye. You'll more easily retrieve a, a, a puff of smoke. You cannot change. You cannot alter. You cannot relive. You cannot improve it. Sorry, no mulligans allowed. Hourglass sand won't flow upward. The second hand of the clock refuses to tick backward. I know, I've tried, but it won't. The monthly calendar reads left to right, not right to left. You no longer have yesterday. And, this might surprise you, you do not yet have tomorrow. I mean, unless you accelerate the orbit of the earth or convince the sun to to rise twice before it sets once. But, I don't think you can. I can't. We can't live tomorrow today. We can't spend tomorrow's money. We can't celebrate tomorrow's achievements. We cannot resolve tomorrow's riddles. We have only today. This, Scripture says, this is the day the Lord has made. So, live in it. You must be present to win. Don't heavy today with yesterday's regrets Don't acidize today with tomorrow's troubles. But don't we tend to do so? We do to our day what I did to a bike ride. My friend and I went on an extended hill country trek. Now, just a few minutes into the trip, I began to tire out. Within half an hour, my uh, my thighs ached. My my lungs heaved like like a beached whale. I could scarcely pump the pedals. Now, I'm no Tour de France contender by far, but nor am I a newcomer, yet I felt like one. After 45 minutes, I had to dismount and catch my breath. That's when my partner spotted the problem. (laughs) Both rear brakes were rubbing, were pressing against my rear tire. Rubber grips contested every pedal stroke. The ride was destined to be a tough one. Don't we do the same? Don't we do the same? Guilt presses on one side. Dread drags the other. No wonder we weary so. Friends, we sabotage our day, wiring it for disaster, lugging along yesterday's troubles, downloading tomorrow's struggles, remorse over the past, anxiety over the future. We aren't given the day a chance. We aren't given the day a chance. I mean, how can we? How can we do so? Well, here's my proposal. 
consult Jesus. The Ancient of Days has something to say about your days. Now, he doesn't use the word or the term day very often in Scripture. But on the occasions that he does... Well, he provides a delightful formula for upgrading each of yours into blue ribbon status. First of all, saturate every day in his grace. Do you remember what he said as he hung on the cross? I tell you the solemn truth, Jesus said to the thief, that this day you shall be with me in paradise. Luke 23:43. He drenched the day of the thief with grace. Number two, entrust your day to his oversight. He taught us to pray, give us this day our daily bread, Luke eleven three. He will protect and provide what you need this day. And then lastly, accept his direction. If any of you want to be my followers, you must forget about yourself. And you must take up your cross, look at this, each day and follow me, Luke 9, 22 through 24. So receive grace, trust God's oversight, accept God's direction, G-O-D, grace, oversight, direction, God. God will guide you through each and every day. Try that on today, won't you? Let your day be covered in grace. Let your day be beneath the oversight of His sovereign hand. And then just trust Him. Go in the direction that He leads. And who knows, at the end of this day, you may very well be saying, I thought this was going to be a tough day, but God turned it into something really special. That's my prayer for you. All the best. Have a great day.